Hello everyone, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Guess what day it is? It's my birthday and it's my 1000 subscriber giveaway video. What does that mean? Well, I have a plethora of things here uh, that I kind of want to go through and show you of what I'm going to be putting in a box of uh, goodness to send out to one of you lucky people. Now, this actually isn't even all of it. Um, I'm still going to be gathering some things together, but I wanted to get this video out there for you guys. So let's kind of go through um, what we have. Um, I do actually want to just take a quick um, stop and say uh, I did uh, do some thrifting yesterday with my mom. We went to that uh, open house for the new thrift store. It was so great. I love this thrift store because it is actually reasonable prices. It's a mission thrift store, which is really cool. So it helps uh, lots of communities. And yeah, it was really great. And I got to show you a really fun thing that just resonated with me. Um, it needs a wash. It needs some cleaning. But maybe you guys will appreciate this. Look, it's Forky. <laughs> I don't know why you guys, but I saw him and it made me happy. And it really just encapsulated how I feel about what we do, right? If you guys have watched Toy Story, you know that Forky was created out of a old spork and some pipe cleaners. And it was made into a toy for uh, I think it was Bonnie, because I think that's Bonnie's name on the bottom. If I remember, I've only watched that one, I think once or twice, so I don't, don't have it memorized. But I saw it and I don't know why he called to me. He's like, hey, come get me. And I just love that it, it's repurposed. And that's what we do, right? We, we take junk or garbage that would be for other people and we make it into beautiful things and i think sporky is a beautiful thing and i think he encapsulates um what we're trying to you know do is make fun things for people out of discarded items so sporky or no it's not sporky it's a forky <laughs> um i mean he was a dollar 50 you guys he's my new little mascot and he's gonna cheer up my craft room and he's just going to inspire me and instill joy in me so yeah, uh, I had to share that with you because I thought he was a lot of fun. So he says hello to everybody and hopefully he um, helps bring joy to your life. I'm just gonna, yeah, clean him up, put him in my craft room. So there is that. I just, I couldn't resist showing you guys. So yes, uh, let's get to this awesome package that I'm putting together. Where to start? Let's start over here. I have been working on crocheting these mini, mini little doilies. So I'm going to throw some of these in here. And once I get enough made, I've got a few right now, um, but I want to make some more in different colors. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw some of these in here. And once these are available, I'm going to put them on my Kofi and I'll have them in, in packages. So just really, really cute tiny doilies that you can put on pockets or within your journal. You can add maybe pearls to them. You can, I mean, with these white ones, you can coffee dye them. I do have some uh, different colors and one is like a, almost like a tea dyed looking color. So yeah, I'm going to be making these up and putting them in my uh, coffee shop. So stay tuned for that. So you'll get some of these. Um, this is a beautiful book that I got from the thrift store. It's so beautiful that I tore it apart. I've already um, disassembled it because I love the cover, but I'm going to be throwing in some of these music, Ooh, this is upside down, um, some of these music pages in it. Um, let's just flip it over here. Is it this way? Yeah, this way. So yeah, I'm going to be adding um, some of these gorgeous sheets in there. So we have that that I'll put in. Um, what else do I have? I'm just kind of started a little bucket here. Uh, some of my ephemera that I have made. So I have like this, you glue on a page and you pull out and you have writing space. So I'm gonna have that, I'm just gonna throw that in the bucket. Um, some of these little playing cards from the thrift store. I'm gonna pass some of these on cause they're so adorable. I love playing with them. I am going to have labels. Some of the labels that I made and I've got more that I'm working on upstairs I'm cutting out that I've made um, kind of a different style but I'm going to throw some of these in there 
Um, what else? I have some tags. I'm going to throw in some tags that I've pre-made that you can decorate. Um, yeah, lots of ephemera, pre-made ephemera that I'm going to pass on from vintage books, journal cards, tags, tech spots. You can make them into pockets. I am throwing in one of these paper clips that has the pen loop on it. So you'll get one of those. I'm going to throw this in here. It's a pocket that you can decorate made out of a time card. You'll get that. Um, I've got some fun little things from Timu that I'm going to throw in there. Oh yeah, I got these little doily stickers. Um, yeah, so I've got some of those. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, this is a piece of ephemera that I made. This is actually from advertising and I just thought it was uh, really cool. And so it flips open and then this flips up and then it's got a pocket, lots of journaling space and then journaling space on the back if you want. I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, another big doily. I did not make this one, but I think it's cool. So I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, I'm going to throw in some coffee filters because these make great pockets and I've got lots of those. Oh, some little fairy stickers. Oh, and some vintage ladies are going to go in there. I have uh, some little vintage, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Some vintage papers, um, vintage style papers. They're obviously not old, but they're, um, you know, some of those. I've got some German book page that's going to go in there. Throw that in there. I have some of that paper from that gorgeous um, vintage dictionary that my friend Rosanna gave me. I'm going to throw that in there. A couple pages of those. That's going to go in. I have this envelope pocket um, that you can use. You can fold up. You can. Um, I haven't decorated the back, but um, yeah, I mean, you can use that as a tuck spot. That's going to go in there. I have some of these little book page pockets that'll go in there. Oh, this is one of those um, time card pockets decorated. You'll get that. This is a little envelope. Uh, I'm just going to pause you because my husband's yelling at me. So give me, give me one second. Oh my gosh, sorry about that guys, but my sweet, sweet neighbors came over and brought me goodies and wine and this beautiful card. Isn't that so sweet? Love you, Noreen. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, they are the sweetest neighbors ever. Okay, where were we? Oh, yes, okay. Um, yeah, so this fun little um, envelope out of music paper. Um, this is one of the... Um, Oh, what was this? The freezer paper and tissue paper um, stamping faux handmade paper that we did. Like one of the videos. So I've got one of these cool little envelopes. Um, this one we did recently, a little pocket. And it's got a little tech spot here if you want, a little window. So you just glue that on. Isn't that adorable? I love these. I have a whole bunch of little um, handmade kind of cabinet cards stuff. So I'm going to throw a whole bunch of those in there. Uh, these are full page pockets. So let me just grab oh, a page as I knock over stuff. So then this would fit on a page like this and you could glue it here here and here and so then this would be a tuck spot then you have a pocket here pocket here tuck spot there tuck spot there so yeah some full page pockets i got a couple of those um i have this one this is another um time card with some collaging fun little tab and then it's got like some writing papers on the back or a writing paper. This was a Roxy's weekly challenge, I think that I did. So that was fun. Um, another tag. I have this fabric cluster that I made. That's super cute. Uh, some papers. I'm gonna throw in a whole bunch of little papers. Uh, some more little fun goodies um, that you can collage on. And they're just, they're just cute little papers to add. We have doilies. Oh, lots of doilies. Oh, some more little tags. And this is some more of that um, handmade, full handmade paper. This could be a belly band or a bookmark, whatever you like. Uh, let's put those over there. 
We have this as well. This is like a belly band or a bookmark, or it could be a tuck spot, whatever your heart desires. Um, again, more papers and stamps. I had bought duplicates of these, so I'm gonna pass them on. These are a lot of fun. Again, these are what I used for the uh, faux handmade paper for stamping. So I'm gonna give those in there. And I did a lot of, my mom and I yesterday went through all my fabric books that I get. Uh, sample books and wallpaper sample books and I ended up we were cutting and ripping open the packaging and stuff and I ended up um, getting quite the blister and it is pretty nasty it looks like you can see down to the tendons Ooh, it's, it's not good but it's fine it was worth it and these are some of the fabrics that I'm going to pass on because they are fun beautiful colors and um, like I said I am going to be working on look at that tell me you wouldn't love to have that right um, I am going to be working on getting uh, the fabric samples packaged into kind of bundles and listed on my Kofi so these make really really excellent covers fabric flips um, cut them up however you like can you imagine this as like this would be a beautiful cover right I just isn't that gorgeous and look at these colors together with it so when you get these they will have the paper on the back of them all you have to do is use your iron and you're going to iron it and peel it off um, it comes off fairly easily so there is that yeah so I'm going to pass that on and I am not done I'm, I'm still going to continue to gather stuff um, between now and I'm going to give it probably what are we at here I just kind of have to look at calendar date uh, we are at April 21st so I'm going to give it until probably May 5th so we'll say two weeks um, you'll have two weeks to comment on this video so if you want to be entered to win this package that's still not even done I mean you guys have seen how much is in here there's a ton more that I'm going to try and stuff in um, I did originally have a Canada post box that I bought but it's not going to work if I want to ship internationally like between Canada and US or whatever so I'm going to find another box and just jam as much as I possibly can in there for you guys um, so yeah what do you need to know well here's what you need to do one please be a subscriber um, this is a thank you to my subscribers and so you must be a subscriber I, so if you're stopping through um, and this is your first time here hello and welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you anything and uh, yeah you get to see what I'm up to so one is a subscriber the other one is you need to put a comment what is the comment you need to just simply tell me a word and the word is here's the riddle what is the item the name of the character that I showed you at the beginning of this video that I got from the thrift store you're going to put that character's name in the comments down below if you get it right <laughs> and you're a subscriber you get entered it's that simple but uh, the reason why I wanted to do it that way is because sometimes people just come on and they you know they want to scoop the freebies and that's not fair to my subscribers who actually watch the videos I appreciate you all so much and I do want to make sure that you guys are getting this so you're going to subscribe and you're going to comment with the character's name that I showed you at the beginning of the video that I got from the thrift store that's it that's all you have to do so I think with that that's really all I really wanted to kind of um, come on here and show you what I have started um, for the package so it is a lot like it's all this and then this bucket is almost full so yeah it's gonna be a big box and I mean you guys know shipping is gonna be a nightmare but that's okay because I love you guys enough to pay for shipping <laughs> so um, yeah that's what you have to do then I will do the draw two weeks from today May 5th I will do the draw I will come on and announce the winner so yeah I think that's about it um, I'm just gonna get back to enjoying my birthday I got some treats and wine that I get to drink so I'm gonna go do that do some more crafting because it is my crafting day 
And yeah, I just wish you all a super great Sunday. I appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Thank you for keeping me sane because as you know, crafting is my therapy. All right, guys, get back to your day. Uh, enjoy it. And remember, P.S. I love you.